this guy's atheist. His life is a waste of time. He's keen. He has nothing to do. He, you know how to join his life? He has to come and debate Muslims. Those who believe in God. He, you know, he, without purpose, he's keen, you know. You need to become Muslim, inshallah. Worship the Creator. Stop joking around. Stop, stop, worship, stop <laughs> worshiping your desires. You know there is a Creator for this beautiful creation. There is a Creator. Stop pretending like you don't know. Uh, atheism doesn't make any sense. You know, the atheists, they come and try to criticize Islam. Islam this and that. But as the atheist, you believe everything is subjective. There's no absolute truth. There's absolute truth. What is the absolute truth? So there's no doubt that I'm a human being, yeah? Okay, so now that something come without any creator, if something came to existence. Is it possible for non existent to create something? Oh, good, alhamdulillah. You, you better atheist, you're gonna come to Islam slowly, slowly. So this creation, this creation, this, you believe in a creator? Okay, who created this creation? I don't think there was any creation at all. Uh, you, the universe always existed. It's always existed. So, define universe. Are, are, are you part of the universe? Okay, you never existed. You didn't exist all the time. You never existed all the time. Okay, well, let me redefine. You see, refutation. No, no, no. Yeah. If you suggest that you have a finite life state. No, just you, the tree has it. Huh? Every part of the universe it has a finite. Okay. Right. All the atoms in my body were made inside stars, billions of years ago, and in your body. Yeah. Wait, 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 repeat that. Now, nowhere is going to come. Blind faith. Come. Blind faith. You said what billion years happened? Now it's blind faith. You're going to speak about billion years ago. Yeah. All the atoms in your body were made inside stars in a process called nuclear. Billion years ago. Is that is. Billions of years ago. Okay. Is that true? Is that absolute truth? Absolute truth. Okay. How do you know that? Because science tells me that through nuclear synthesis. Science cannot tell you that because if something happened billion years ago, Science cannot tell you that because what is science? The method of science is a collection of data through observation and it has to be repeatable. You have to repeat it over and over again. And yes, methodology. Science, they cannot tell. You know what he just said? We don't know. That is true. There's science. That is science. You're suggesting. Billion years ago. So, billion years ago, there was. Okay, go on. So, you're suggesting the entire science of cosmology is false because humans were. I did not say that. I don't well, say that. I said to say something scientifically proven. No, no, but I'm correcting you because you put words in my mouth. I didn't say all cosmology, uh, physics or cosmology is wrong. I didn't say that. What I'm saying, scientists that cannot tell you for a fact what happened 500 years or 4 billion, billion years ago. That's called assumption. You know, it's not science. This is called a belief. This is called what? There's reason to believe it's true. No, there's, there's not because why? It's impossible, irrational, illogical. Atom can create a human who has, who has a, a, a morality, who has all of that. Doesn't make any sense, and you know that. According to any human being. Okay. Is it, pos okay. is it possible? Okay. Is it possible that the, the, the earth creates human beings like me and you, the earth? Okay. How come we never in history heard earth gave a birth to human beings? Yeah. But you said what it can happen. That, uh, uh, come with the atheists. What we're saying is that biogenesis exists and from that extended, from that evolved evolution. evolution. No, wait, wait, wait. Before we go to evolution, yes? Because you believe in evolution now. But yeah. so before we go to evolution, scientists will say evolution is just assumption as well. You understand? You know why you don't believe? A fact. I, 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 it's not a fact. It's not, it's not a fact. You understand? Because why? Watch, watch, watch. I'll tell you what is, is a I tell you what is the fact, yeah? My brothers and sisters, and listen carefully to my statement. To show you, you know there's a creator. But you know, you, you have no problem to accept any theory as long as that theory doesn't lead to creator who has to tell you to follow a specific teaching. Okay, one, 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 thing, one second, let me finish. Let me finish, let me finish. Rationality tell us, that's why uh, Richard Dawkins, when he was cornered, how come we have not seen and observed this Darwinian evolution? For million years, the humans have been around. Why we haven't seen something uh, 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 one species Evolve into completely different species. No adaptation, completely to different species. Do you know what he said, Richard Dawkins? You don't know what he said when he was. Yeah, he said, due to the lifespan, because we don't have a long life, that's why we cannot see it. You know what he means? I'm lying to you, so I'm going to deceive you because we have a long time. So for, 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 for many years, human existed, and there's no time for a woman to give a birth to a monkey. There's order. 
order does not come by random. Order doesn't come from just an atom like that. That's what Allah taught us. What created the earth was gravity. 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 Is Gravi what created humans so, is evolution. So what? So create. So, so wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. So look what's this. I told you. So what created the earth is what? Gravity. Gravity. But you told me it's eternal. Always existed. I didn't say that. I said the universe. But the earth is part of the universe. That's a bullshit argument. Sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> you're so okay. no, no. Is the earth, you're is, back to say is the earth part of the universe? To, look, That's you're why you're they will accept any creator, but they won't accept say. Allah. So you won't let me talk. You just will not let me talk. You're saying that because I have a finite lifespan and I am part of the universe, forgot what I, I said. am consistent with the universe, and therefore if, if I, I don't said. have a creator, the universe doesn't have I forgot what I said. You said the earth was created, correct? By, by gravity. gravity. By gravity. Yeah, okay. Gravity is an entity. It's a force. Okay, it's a force. So a for so therefore you believe in a creator, which is called gravity. No. Who created the earth? Your, your Who created the earth? Your definition of creator is Allah. No, no, before, oh, no, no. Before, okay, so you just told me you don't believe in a creator, but now you told me you I created don't, gravity. I don't believe in your That's my point. My point is arrogant to believe in Allah. Do you know why? Because he doesn't mind any creator, as long as that creator is not someone's going to tell him what to do and not what to do. Gravity you understand? You just prove to me you earth believe in a creator. Thank you very much. Gravity. You're not atheist anymore. You believe in a creator who doesn't make any sense. But I believe in a creator that makes sense. Yes. You, you, I know you get angry. Don't get frustrated. I know, I know I got you there. I know you, because you don't like the way I speak because I pin you down. You, you like to speak to Sabur and other guys, too much philosophy. Your Me, argument, simple way. You argument. just believe in the Creator. Anyway, you don't have to talk to us. Take care of yourself, atheist, uh, agnostic. Because we haven't seen evolution with our eyes, it's, it's not true. Because we haven't seen the earth. Take care of yourself. It's not true. You believe in the Creator? I don't believe in the Creator. You, you just told us. I, I okay. He just water. told me, he just told me, oh, wait. He told me earlier on. You believe the creator is Allah and I believe the creator is gravity. He did he say that? I said the he said that. Take care of yourself. You've been arrogant now. Take care of yourself. Remember, you will die and you will stand before Allah's coming to Allah. All these excuses that you try to use to turn away from God for Allah will not benefit you. You're getting older. Feel Allah's coming to Allah and you will meet Allah. Yes. You will meet Allah's coming to Allah. Wallah, you are proof of Allah's existence. Wallah, you proof of Allah's existence. Feel Allah and you will Allah. If you die, you, you know what? Wait, 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 wait. You believe in gravity, make the, the creator. Anyway, take care of yourself. Have a, can I give you a book to read? Educate yourself, please. Why? I've got a Quran. No, but this one, this one, this one, uh, of course, the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Quran is so powerful, you know? No doubt. But I will say to you, the problem is not with the Quran. The problem that you have is, is you have arrogance that is stopping you from accepting the creator. And I will tell you straight forward. Because that's the, the teacher of the Quran. Because some brothers, what they like me to speak to him with philosophy, go in details. No, the Quranic way to be honest with you, because I want good for you. That no for fact you're going to die. And you look for any creator. Now the fact that you said, I believe in a creator is a gravity, because you know gravity, you, you, you don't mind believing a creator that does not possess knowledge or you wisdom believe. and dictate to you what yeah, to do. You to see? Okay. You believe that's true? I believe it's the truth, yes. Spoke yeah, Muhammad, right? indeed. Do you ever have any idea how many galaxies there are? No, universe? before about galaxies or boxes. Firstly, you don't. Before we start speaking about that, you believe in a crea a gravity created the, uh, the earth, which doesn't make any sense. A baker's create cakes. Does that make them the creator? That Baker, you're about? Baker's entity possess knowledge and wisdom. Refer to yourself. So this is just Gravity is not even an entity that exists by itself, that has energy, that has the power, ability to choose how to create. Our own creation. Can you say, therefore, saying that, that I believe in creators when I talk about it, somebody created a cake? I'm not. I'm, your definition of so, creators who created the universe. We're talking about who even the earth. The okay. Who created your the earth is part of the universe. Who created your sunglasses? Who created your haircut? Listen, listen. About the creation of the universe. Listen, listen. Is the earth part of the universe? It is now, yes. Huh? It is for us four point so six the, million years. Yeah, no, but it wasn't for the So you believe everything was atom, you believe in singular? Sorry? You believe in singularity. Everything was an atom. The Big Bang? Yeah? I believe the Big Bang existed. The, okay, so was, big, there were no atoms at the co wait, 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 wait. Bang there wait, were no atoms. That's what I'm saying. So a big so randomness create this beautiful creation. Well like deep down he knows it's false. Well lie, I swear by Allah. Deep down he knows it doesn't make any sense. You know why? Because any human beings with a sound reasoning and removing arrogance, looking at this order, everything's order. And we never heard a woman give a birth to a chicken or a chicken giving a birth to a rat. Order, we see organized order. Let me finish, let me finish. I know it's hurting you, let me finish. Everything, I know it's the truth. Everything, that's what Allah told us. 
إن في خلق السماوات والأرض واختلاف الليل والنهار لآيات لأولي الألباب within the creation of the heavens and the earth and the alteration of a day, day and night it is a sign for people understanding if I said to you this phone was made by, by a, a, a tin you know, a tuna tin you tell me Shams, you'll be crazy what about Yusuf and myself? it's impossible, illogical we create without any creator who possesses knowledge and the power take care of yourself before it's too late bye bye that's it that's it, yeah, I'm running, yeah here brothers that's the Quran, I'm going to guide you Yeah, bring them, bring them. Mashallah, we from? Canada. Mashallah, how are you, brothers? Good? He recognized you, mashallah, from YouTube. He goes, why to say hello? My voice in here, my voice. Too loud, I'm too loud. Alhamdulillah, man. Nice to meet you, my brothers. Mashallah crowd. Yeah, yeah, I know. We're trying to teach, you know. Try to help and try to be. Alhamdulillah, you know. Alhamdulillah. You are known on YouTube. Yes. You're famous. You know, it's a problem, man. Every time I walk, someone picture, picture. You know. I spend more life on taking pictures than uh, talking to my wife. <laughs> Does it come here every Sunday? Huh? Sunday every Sunday? Yeah, usually, yeah, usually. What's yeah. the message today? What are you I have to let you know, I call people to Islam to believe in the Creator. And my argument, which is clear, that there's not any doubt there's a Creator for this beautiful creation. No doubt the fact there's all that there's knowledge behind it. You know, like today, what is today? Sunday. What is tomorrow? Monday. How do we know that? Sun setting, sun rising. You know? My, my argument anchors the atheist. I said to him, look, what, let us define what is randomness. Randomness, what it means? Anything can happen. Because don't use a word, then when we try to investigate it, you say, no, no, I don't mean that. Yeah. Randomness means anything can happen. Meaning that a woman can give a birth to chicken, yeah, she yeah. can give birth to rat, but the fact we see order, even in human uh, uh, cycle life, yeah, yeah. we never heard a woman give a birth to old man, then it's not becoming a child. Yeah. You know? Order, subhanAllah. Everything is order. And that's what Allah told us in the Quran. Allah said, reflect upon your own creation and reflect upon Allah's creation. He told me the universe is eternal. Then he told me, because I believe atheists, they believe in a creator. Yeah. But they don't mind believing in a creator other than a true creator. Because they know if I believe in a true creator, I have to go and get my own desires. Yeah. So what says harsh. No, you have to be honest with the person. Because when you start entertaining too much, it's a nonsensical argument using philosophy. Yeah. Well, it will lead to many holes. Yeah, keep it simple. You know the truth. Come on, bro. If I'm walking down in, in the middle of nowhere and I see a beautiful phone, even though I don't know the person who made it, just by, by looking at the phone, analyzing, there is order, there is a menu, everything. It's impossible, I will believe, this phone was created by nothing. Yeah. By looking at it, you think, you know what? The one who made the phone must be smart. Absolutely. Yeah, alhamdulillah, man. Alhamdulillah. The, the knowledge of the universe as it is today has been proven. There are some mentions of references in Quran to the way, like Atharic, the star, the knocks, right? Uh, there are references in Quran to how the universe is. To be honest, uh, my brother, you know, when it comes to this scientifically proven, I don't really favor it. You know why? Because a lot of this is assumption. For example, some Muslims, they say there's a big bang in the Quran. I don't agree with that. There's no big bang in the Quran. You know why? Let's understand what is a big bang, yeah? Big bang, everything goes by singularity. Time and space start after the Big Bang. But they go against the Quran teaching, because Quran teaching verses clearly show us there was space and time before that. For example, there was Allah's throne before the, the Big Bang, uh, the, before Allah created creation, the universe. So the, many Muslims, what they do, they have this inferiority complex. They think the only way to prove Islam is the truth by using science. But I'm saying science is full of assumption. Even about this, At-Tariq, wa ma'adraka, ma'adraka, annajmu taqib I don't really like to use, what I like to use when it comes to science, there's two types of science. There is a hardcore science, which people can verify by themselves. And there's a fake science, which a lot of it based upon cosmology. Just assumption. As Allah said, They just follow guesswork and what their desires tell them to follow. You understand, Akhi? So when it comes to Islam, Islam is not in need of science to prove. Like I said, I'm talking about fake science. But there is a science which we can verify. 
understand? Like about cameras. So I'm not going to science. You understand? But when it comes to this issue, okay? Well, like, no, people are just crazy. Riot. You understand? Riot. <laughs> yeah, it's this Allah. So, so many Muslims say, no, okay, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the Quran. Like the Nabi alayhi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. كان الله ولم يكن معه أحد وكان عرشه على الماء. Allah was and there's nothing with him and he's from he was the first and with and with him and and there was a water طيب and the front above the water. So the point here is water is created. So it's going to be in a created place. So that shows you that it goes and gets the teaching of Islam Big Bang. Big Bang actually comes with a package. It's not just a, you can't say that I accept Big Bang, like singularity. Come on, singularity is nonsense, right. just assumption. It's a collective of knowledge, it's collective knowledge that, that is also scatterly mentioned in Quran. There is some stuff, but you have to understand, Akhi, when it comes to some stuff, yeah? For example, when it comes to, um, uh, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned about the two seas, yeah? And there's a barrier between them, yeah, in between them. Some Muslims say no one knew about it. No, there is some science, uh, uh, Roman scientists knew about it, yeah? yeah? So, so what I'm saying, we have to be very careful in using science. That's my point, you understand? What's, what's, what are your views on evolution, human evolution, to Adam Islam being born? At the, like, is there a contradiction between the... Yeah, two evolution is a nonsense. Nonsense. Evolution is big lie. So... Sayyid, you hear? Have you been more sad, Fatiha? Have you been more sad, Qariha? Who's Uncle Omar? You thought the guy called Superman, you remember? Ah, mashallah, I'm Superman, alhamdulillah, good day. How's Mohammed Hijab, is he right? Mohammed Hijab, I can't see him, go ask him. Yeah, come for you. Okay, no, no, please, I've exposed you many times, please, Allah. Allah, come. You know, you know, Shia, I'm going to waste my time. If you don't accept waste my time, you expose. Have you been more sad, Qariha? Are you ready? Are you, are you ready to debate? Yes or no? You are, are you ready to look, debate? Look, he doesn't answer. He doesn't answer. Are you ready to debate? Can I ask my question? I will debate you on the condition of the Sahar Sahar Why is this guy speaking to me for? You scared? Okay, you're this guy. No, no, no. They love Shrek. Mushrikun. You're 17? You know, kid, you're a big man. Why do you speak to a big man? I can't sketch you all 16 by myself. Anyway, what's time? Anyway, go on. You're challenging you for debate. I expose him, man. I expose him. Come on. Expose him. Allah. So, oh, look, to, to debate Shia condition, recite what Qari, I will debate him. Are you happy with this condition? Are you happy? Are you, are you ready for debate? Are you, are you going to accept? Are you going to accept what Qari? Are you ready for debate? Wait, say it, say it. Listen to me. Before, he's not listening to me. Look, I've never started. Before three minutes, three minutes, listen to me. I spoke to you before, did I? Did I? Did I? Huh? Get the video, man. Let's speak to you. Yeah. The liar. Go at the video, liar. liar. What, what is this video? What is he talking he, 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 I spoke to you for an hour. One hour. I spoke to you for an hour. Say again. Well, uh, go learn Arabic and Quran first. No problem, like you. I know Arabic. <laughs> and I know Quran. Yeah, I corrected you last many time. People corrected your Arabic. I cor many people corrected man, your man, Arabic. Man, 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 man. Man, tell. Nadeum, Nadeum, Nadeum. What do I say? What do I say? I will have a discussion with you, my friend. Shamsi, I don't know how to speak Arabic. I will challenge you to tell them, do you want to come down? I will expose them as well. Do you want to hide behind the camera? Anyway. Come on, come on. You know, these guys, I spoke to them, by the way, many times. They don't ask them a question. I will debate you on the condition of the Sultan Qari'ah. The Sultan Qari'ah is a small surah in the Quran. They don't know 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 the Quran. لا أسأله أقرأ سورة قارعة أقرأ سورة قارعة لا أبغى دبيت هم دبيت هم يا دينا واي دينا واي دينا واي دينا واي دينا واي تعال خالد لك دينا الشيعة ما يفهموا شيء ليس كلهم بابا بابا look in order to debate someone to have discussion especially as a Muslim because they claim to be Muslim we have to use the Quran correct if you don't know Quran what are you gonna use you're gonna fall you're gonna fall I agree I agree no doubt I make mistakes I'm being no, listen carefully. Say it, say it. I'm not negating. He's not gonna say it. I'm not negating. I make mistakes. I'm a human being. But the problem, you don't even know the verse. Yeah. So you were saying Good. Yeah. you don't believe in evolution. The missing link is the Rafida. <laughs> I believe that's the missing link. With their shirk, they love shirk. Billah.
too much shirk. Yeah, so yeah, you yeah, tell yeah. them watch there, Allah alone the shirk. There is yeah. no, there is no uh, reconciliation between um, never between evolution and and and, and Quranic knowledge when it comes to no never. Of man. You know, you know, Akhi, this evolution firstly is not scientifically proven. It's why? A why? It's, a huh? it's, a it's a theory. It's a theory, no doubt. Like I said to you, Akhi, before, what's happening now is that Muslims they will try to utilize any theory to justify what Islam is the truth. Yeah. You understand? And this goes back to inferiority complex. Do you understand? Inferiority complex. So as a Muslim, we don't accept Darwin evolution. You understand? Yeah. In all forms. In, in it. Now, maybe you're talking about as human being, maybe, you know, if you're born in an area in Africa, you got stronger, or in Europe, you got, uh, uh, you got used to cold. Your yeah. skin changes yeah. and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah, but when it comes to Darwinian evolution, because what we have to understand, what is Darwinian evolution? Darwinian evolution means that literally we evolve from one species completely to different species. Yeah. Richard Dawkins, when he was asked about it, he said due to our lifespan, we cannot observe it. So that is, it was like a, 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 they call it a scapegoat. Yeah. A scapegoat for himself. Huh? No. Yeah, no, no, it's a scapegoat. A scapegoat, a scapegoat means you utilize something to run away. Yeah. In the stand, to leeway. That's why you ask Shia, tell them what is your name? He will tell you, my father, Jack Mercedes. That's a scapegoat for the Mercedes, you know? So the point here is, okay, by the way, for people to understand, you can check my videos. I spoke to him for one hour. They don't know no Quran. They don't know hour and a half, huh? you remember? Nothing. Well, like, I'm not coming here to waste my time. You know to them, yeah? And he lied. He said he never spoke to him. Yeah, and he lied. <laughs> you know, Akhi? Imagine, brother, imagine. No, watch, watch. To make you understand for, for, for the viewers. Brother, ask me what is my name. Ask me what is, my, what is your name. What's your name? One day I was walking the street. <laughs> ask me again, what is your name? <laughs> now, one day I, I was swimming. <laughs> and if you walk away, then I'm going to tell you. You're scared. <laughs> you run away. So basically, Shamsi, speak to us. If we wouldn't answer you, if you walk away, you're scared. <laughs> What's this? I have a family, bro. I have a wife, I have children, I have my beloved families, friends and everything. I will not lie, alhamdulillah. Yeah. I, uh, you know, Akhi, Shia, when they come here, they don't come to call to Allah. They come to disturb me. And I proved them many times. I said to them, on a condition, recite the Tariya. They don't know the Quran. You know, it's different between making mistakes. We human beings, we make mistakes sometimes. You forget, you mix up between the ayat. No, no problem with that. But the problem is, you don't even know the Quran at all. Yeah, you can't even reference it. Did, did he say he's the Obandi? No, no, it's not Dubendi, no. no he's not. talking about two Dubendis, yeah. these uh, two embarrassing uh, guys. They made a video about me when I'm a speaker's corner. Oh, and by the way, it makes something clear to people. I didn't want to mention it, but I didn't mention it before. Me, I'm not like Shifa, I'm not compared to no one. I have vertigo. Yeah. Vertigo, sometimes you get dizzy, yeah, yeah. sometimes, you know, even you have problems when you're speaking, yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. So they try to mock me because the way I speak, yes? Uh, they don't know. Oh. They don't know. Maybe they know they're going to know, okay? Yeah. And, and when I'm a speaker's corner, remember, speaker's corner, you speak to someone, and sometimes someone's gonna cut you. So your brain is too fast. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes I mix between the ayat. Yeah. I'm, even being, I'm not gonna negate that. Yeah, I yeah. make mistakes in the Quran sometimes. But alhamdulillah, if someone corrects me, I say, Barakallah. Yeah. But to make video, which I to make Shams look bad, that shows you arrogance. That's why I, I, I tend to come here to expose them. She, I don't know when they come speak to Skona or Dubendis, I will expose them. I take a lamb on Blue Arabia for Sha. Be sharp. Kali la, send the Lugal Arabia. I don't speak Arabic language. But your message should be more da'wah rather than the guy who's a shit. Right? It doesn't make any sense. I agree with you, Akhi. That's yeah. why. But the point is, if you tell them go away, they say you're scared. Yeah. If you speak to them, they don't want to answer. So I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's, 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 bro, I didn't, get, I didn't give birth to you, bro. Go to your father, let's speak to him, man. Yeah. Yeah. I'm here to give da'wah to people. So, Last week, someone became Muslim, alhamdulillah. Yeah. Five people become Muslim. Yeah. The one I spoke to, Amashash, was crying, Akhi. Ahl yeah. Sunnah, we come here to give da'wah. Yeah. We want people to be guided. Uh, another Majnoon. <laughs> <laughs> there is Indian Majnoon, now we have African Majnoon. Next week we can have... Uh, our... Oh, Jesus Christ. Yes. So, so you've been doing da'wah for a while, right? 15 so years. What, what, one message, five, what message, the number one message that you have conveyed that brought the maximum attention to your da'wah? That one message that you would say? The, the, the one that I've noticed which many people praise me for it, and all of them, they say, look, what distinguishes you, Shamsi, from even other speakers, I use Quran and Sunnah a lot. And that's the blessings of Quran and Sunnah. With atheists or not, I use Quran and Sunnah a lot. Because majority of our brothers here, may Allah forgive them, they indulge too much in philosophy. But I mean, alhamdulillah, because I believe Quran and Sunnah is above anyone and anything. You understand? I don't know, because the argument is, some brothers, even me, I used to think like that before, you know? So I'm not saying if you think like that, you're bad, you're going to jahannam. No, we make mistakes, 
we maybe used argument before, we found that it was wrong, we changed, yeah? The argument is that Shamsi is speaking to non-Muslims. They don't believe in Quran. Why are you using Quran against them? Yeah. And my reply will be to them, Prophet Muhammad he was using the Quran against the Kuffar of Quraysh. They never believed in the Quran. Yeah. But then Allah, Allah, Allah knows that they believe in the truth. Yeah. But they reject it out of arrogance. Like the atheist I was speaking to him earlier on, he was speaking to many people. So Quran, you know, the truth of the Quran from Allah, Quran used intellectual arguments or fatri arguments, something which is known by necessity, yeah. or uh, observable arguments, something which you can observe, mm -hmm. or psychological arguments. Mm -hmm. What is psychological arguments? Allah threatened the kuffar of Quraysh with Jahannam. Mm -hmm. Some Muslims, they say, I'm going to Shamsi. If I do it, if I tell the atheists, fear Allah, you're going to go Jahannam. So, no, no, Shamsi, you're wrong. It's not like that's how you do it. He doesn't believe in Allah. So therefore Allah was wrong for threatening the kuffar of Quraysh who does not believe in the day of judgment with Jahannam. No, they believe in it, but they try to reject it. And I'll show you, he had no problem to tell you, I believe, the, I, I think the gravity created the earth. Why? Because they have no problem to believe in any creator except the true one. Because they know if they believe in the true creator, they have to go against their own desires. Because of their evil desires, so what they do? They will look for any so-called intellectual argument or excuse to reject Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah. That's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran. Am khuliqu min ghayri shay'in, am humul khaliqoon, am khalaqu samawati wal arda, bal la yuqinoon. Allah said, would they create by nothing? Why do we, Allah is not asking the question here? This called rebuking question, meaning are you serious that you believe this beautiful, tremendous creation has no creator? Yeah. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala goes on to say, am khuliqu min ghayri shay'in, am humul khaliqoon. Oh, did they create themselves? Am khalaqu samawati wal arda. Oh, did they create the heavens and the earth? Surely they have no firm belief. Just guesswork. Hal ata ala al-insani hinu min al-dahri lam yakun shay'an madkura. Inna khalaqna al-insana min nutfatin amshajin nabtalihi faja'annahu sami'an basira. Allah said, is there not a time for human beings to think? Once upon a time, they were like nothing. Imagine my brother, my dear brothers, may Allah bless you all, likewise my sisters, walk in the street and you see a sperm and someone say, you come from that sperm and you don't know about it. I came from there. Not fatten. Not fatten. <laughs> Barakallah. <laughs> That's why one of the Salaf saw a man walking arrogantly. He said, Limada, why are you walking like that? Awaluka, Nutfa. You start with Nutfa, with a, with a mixed sperm. Wa'akhiruka, yeah. Jifa, and you will be a dead body. Yeah. And you are full of uh, feces. Yeah, yeah. So, what are you arrogant for? That's You're full of feces. When you go to, have one. When you go to the bathroom, you even discuss with your own self, you close your doors. Then you walk in shit like that, why? Allah Akbar, Allah put signs within us. The simple truth is, مَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّةِ وَالْإِنْسَ لِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ That's the simple, simple Allah truth, right? Tawheed. Okay, so the early Sahabas, the apostles of the Prophet, peace be upon him, right? Yes, so friend, they spread around the world. Their biggest dawah point was the way they lived, how they treated people all over Europe, Middle East, wherever they went. So the Dawah point became not only what they were saying, but how they treated people, their neighbors, their friends, wherever they went to live, right? Has anybody come to you in your experience in your lifetime and come and say, brother, I want to be like you? Has that happened? You know, I'm not... I'm not you live. I'm, I'm not, not asking you to toot your horns. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, if I'm not the best. I will say, I'll make a disclaimer, I'm not the best person to look up to. You know, just make it clear. Algerian, you know, we're not African based, you know, we get angry so quick, you know, too much coffee. I, I will lie and Allah is my witness. If you guys came to me and they said, Shamsi, we used to watch you before you become Muslim. We used to, because you know me, Alhamdulillah, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not from me. I'm always happy, Alhamdulillah. So this one guy I used to think, he, he told me before he became Muslim, he said, I used to think, why this guy always happy? I'm going to the masjid. He used to watch me while I'm going to the masjid. And he said, I want to be happy like him. Wallah, akhi, when it's true, Wallah, I agree with that. Uh, this advice to me first. Let us correct our manners. Yeah. And I'm not the best person, I'm trying my best. Yeah. I mean, if you know me 15 years ago, Different you think person. Shamsi, you are, mashallah, you're the best person walking now. <laughs> in the, wallahi, and the brothers know me, you understand? Wallahi, I've changed a lot. There's people know me here, you understand, Akhi? So, so alhamdulillah, from Allah. The reason I ask you that is... Wait, wait, I need to put some perfumes, man. Someone dropped it. <laughs> Let me give you some perfume, all of you, all of you. Exactly. Some atr, some atr. Someone sent some serious it's, rockets. It's a good one too. It's a good one. Yeah, 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 Jamal. Maybe you have one. Thank you. Have one. Have one. Hey, khair, khair. Over here. Over here. Oh, the Arabic. The Arabic. The Arabic.
هي هي ما شاء الله ما شاء ما شاء الله هي هي يا اخي حياكم الله هي ما بدا بارك الله فيكم ثلاثية اول واحد هاو ماني فيو توك ات ميز يو هاند فايف بان ايتش بزنس ما بدا ار شيل ايفريك بزنس بدل ما بدل ما بدل ان المسجد ان الماس there's a big crowd that comes and goes day in and day out and you just notice people who are going through transformation there is noor on their face you just know something about them is different right so the truth starts to shine through their faces no matter how who they are you could be black white brown whatever yeah the noor starts to show right when a sister wears hijab no matter how she looks, there's something different about her and her face. You immediately recognize and you feel something different about it, right? You know what? That's the iman. That's the iman. You're right. You're it starts to show on your face. You're right. Righteous actions. You know, subhanAllah, one of the Salaf said, he said, Allah has written, anyone that disobey him, except Allah will humiliate him. This is the reality. And if you obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know Allah just put a nor in your face. Look at the advice of our beloved Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu salam. He said, ابتسامة في وجه أخ أخيك صدقة أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام smiling in your face of your brother is a charity that's why always when I'm teaching the masjid I give advice to my brothers smile you know be happy you know look at this what what fitna you're going through you understand أخي I was going through a, 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 a test you know only Allah knows the test I was going through but I know that test there are some people who have worse than what I was going through you understand I know Prophet Muhammad عليه الصلاة والسلام who is beloved to Allah more than anyone else Allah put him through a big test. This is the dunya. When we are depressed, feeling down, isolating ourselves, we never help you. So my advice is that do, alhamdulillah, righteous actions, read the Quran, like you said, Allah will put a nor in your face. You understand? It's and the shaitan doesn't like it. It's a given. It's a given. It's a given from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, indeed. It's a gift. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and shaitan doesn't like I've it. I've seen it many times. People change and suddenly their face look, they feel different, they look different. You know, of course, okay. different. You know, you know, subhanallah. Allah said, "Ala bi dikri Allah, tatma inna al-qulub." Is it not with the remembrance of Allah that we have, that we find peace and and relaxation? Well, I've been reading the Quran, alhamdulillah, recently. You know, especially with Ramadan, my advice to my brothers and sisters out there: in Ramadan, we read the Quran. Let us make Quran our friend. You know, always with you. Well, many times in discussion, like the atheist, the Quran has an answer for it. Every the Quran has an answer for it. Well, but sometimes we go to philosophy. Why? Right. The Quran is there. Bro, the Quran, subhanAllah, just the ayat, akhi, when you read it, you know, especially Surah Yunus. Read Surah Yunus. Beautiful Surah. Akhi, I've been reading it, akhi, Allahu Akbar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful Surah, Surah Beautiful Yunus. Surah. You understand? Alhamdulillah, Ahl Sunnah, we advise people to read Quran. What Shia advise people to, to memorize poetry by Hussein. That's why Quran got you closer to Allah. Surah Rahman. How many of blessings you were denied? Allah, Akhi, subhanAllah. That's why, you know, that's why there's, there's this narration on the day of resurrection. Allah will say, put my servant into Jannah because of mercy, my mercy. He said, no, Allah, I've been worshiping you for 80 years. So I should enter Jannah because of my good deeds. Allah said, put his works, his righteous actions, and put it on the scale with the blessings of the eyes. And the eyes overweigh his righteous works. He said, then take him to hellfire with his actions. He said, no, no, Allah, take me to paradise with your mercy. You understand? Yeah. That's why in, when we pray after Salat, what do we say? After we finish Salat, what do we say? Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. You will not do it haram. You will do it haram, you will pray to Allah. Because regardless how much we worship Allah, we will never be able to, we will never be able to repay back Allah for His blessings. That's why in the Quran, Allah mentioned to the Prophet Muhammad to seek forgiveness. Not because Prophet Muhammad والسلام, is a sinner, because even the prophets and messengers, regardless how much, even the angels, regardless how much they worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, no one will be able to repay back Allah's blessings and Allah's favors and Allah's mercy. So how you make it up? In Islam, we have the concept of seeking forgiveness. Seeking forgiveness to show you should not be arrogant with your righteous action. To show you regardless how much you worship Allah, you always fall into shortcomings. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us for it.